Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Victoria's Secret Semi-Annual Sale Haul. If you guys have not seen my Bath & Body Works Semi-Annual Sale Haul yet, I will have that link down below. And if you're coming over from that video, then welcome. My Bath & Body Works Haul, I pretty much bought mostly gifts for other people and just a few things for myself. And at Victoria's Secret, I pretty much bought everything for myself in one gift. So I'm going to start off with the one gift that I got. Again, sister, don't watch, but um, yeah, this is just going to kind of complete her little birthday present that I started at Bath & Body. So this is the Bombshell Seduction Deluxe Face Palette, and it has four eyeshadows, one gel eyeliner, and a blush. And it will take it out of the packaging and show you what it looks like, but it just has these four beautiful eyeshadow colors. There's a purple eyeshadow, kind of like a taupe color, a pink, and kind of like a shimmery champagne color. And then a bright pink blush and a black gel liner down at the bottom with a big mirror. I just thought that was pretty. And these look like colors that my sister would wear a lot. Um, as I mentioned, she's a big fan of purple. And she does, like, when she goes out, she normally does, like, kind of a smokier eye look. So I thought that she would like that. I don't know. I kind of wanted one for myself. But I feel like I have so many different, like, Victoria's Secret eyeshadows. And I feel like I never use them. I don't know why. Because I do like them. I just feel like I don't reach for them as much. They're really shimmery a lot of the time. So they're more, like, special event kind of eyeshadows. And you guys know I don't do anything except for sit around and make YouTube videos. So moving on. So pretty much all the rest of this stuff is makeup. And then I just got two clothing items. So the first makeup item is this Pressed Mineral Bronzing Powder in Riviera, and it's kind of like a quad bronzer, so there's like four different shades, so I thought that was interesting. I've used their bronzers before, and I actually really liked them, but this is kind of like a new, um, newer kind of style. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I thought it was cool. I don't know, you can never really have enough bronzer in the summertime if you ask me. Also, I don't know the exact price points on all of these things to be completely honest. I know the most expensive thing was that eyeshadow palette. It ended up being $12 and then all the rest of the makeup items I paid between like $6 and $9 for. So it was all 50% off. So sorry I don't have exact price points, but um, yeah. And then I got the VS Pro Magic FX Radiant Flash Brightening Cream. And I don't really know, to be honest, like what this does. I just thought, how cool is this packaging? It's like, it's crazy. Um, but it says it's a miracle cream, like perfect lighting in a bottle. The softly pearlescent formula is infused with antioxidant green tea extract. Creates an, an amazing illuminating glow. So you can mix it with tinted moisturizer or foundation or whatever, or just use it by itself. So let's see what this looks like in my hand. So it's like, comes out pink. Hmm. It really doesn't do anything like necessarily to my hand. So I guess it's probably kind of like one of those like, not like a miracle blur, but just kind of like a, a brightener. I don't know. Interesting. I'll have to play around with that, but that's what that looks like. This is the Anti-Shine FX Oil-Free Mattifier. And I had eyed this before when it was regular price and I really wanted to try it and I never really did. So I'm glad it was in the semi-annual sale because it gave me an excuse to. And this is a um, an, a lightweight mattifier that you can use alone or under makeup or over makeup as well. So I'm interested to try it over makeup because I do tend to get oily throughout the day. I, I don't usually like start out oily, but as I kind of wear my makeup and progress through the day, I tend to get kind of oily. So I'm interested to see if it works without melting off your makeup. So let's see what it feels like. It does feel incredibly light, so it doesn't feel like one of those products that will like, I don't know. And it blends right in too, so that's nice. So I'm interested to try that as well. If you guys would like reviews on any of this stuff, please let me know too, because um, yeah, obviously, you know, a lot of this stuff is purchased for testing purposes, obviously. Then I got the HD False Lash Mascara, and I haven't used a Victoria's Secret mascara in a really long time, like since I worked there, just because they tend to be pretty pricey, and I don't think that they are usually like leaps and bounds better than a drugstore mascara or anything like that, but I got this one just because, you know, hey, somebody in your sale, right? And this one just has like a plastic brush and it's kind of like has the spiky little like hairs on it. And yeah, it's just supposed to give you like really, 
vol a lot of volume and uh, it's supposed to be really good at separating. It actually looks like it has kind of two different sides. Like the wand looks uneven. So one side is supposed to be better for like coating the lashes and then one side for separating. So there is that. Next is the Flawless FX Translucent Finishing Powder. And I really don't need a finishing powder right now. I do have a backup of the e.l.f. HD powder, but I'm kind of like at the point where I need to, um, you know, start on my backup. So I decided before I do that, I will try this one out. I just, I like to use translucent finishing powders, especially during the summertime when you are a little bit oilier, it's nice to have them. This one, um, I don't know, it looks looks pretty similar to the e.l.f. one. Let's see if I can open it up without spilling all over myself. What's nice about this one actually though is this thing, it twists open and close. So you can actually keep this plastic part in and then just twist it open when you need to use it. So that's cool. Let's see what it looks like. It looks very finely milled, just like the e.l.f. one, the Makeup Forever one, any of those. And yeah, it, it feels like literally just like it. So. Looks like it may have a tad more shimmer than the um, e.l.f. one. All right, yeah, it definitely has more shimmer, but still be interested in trying it, so we will see. Next, I just have the Color Drama Lipstick in Melt, and I believe these are the classic Victoria's Secret colors just in this packaging. I do have one Victoria's Secret lipstick in this packaging already, but it's like a limited edition shade, so I was really excited to see the classic colors because I really love them and they are so cute because it has Victoria's Secret imprinted in the lipstick itself. Yeah, this color is called Melt. I remember loving this color when I worked there. Um, we would always put on lipstick, you know, with the like sanitary applicators, obviously. And this is one that I would always reach for. It's kind of like a um, pinky nude. It's a little bit dark nude for a lot of people, but since I'm darker skin toned, it kind of works as almost a nude for me. And I just remember these being really hydrating and Really nice, so I'm interested to try it out again because I have not worn their lipsticks like pretty much since I've stopped working there. I never even bought any when I worked there just because, I don't know, they're kind of expensive, $14 for lipstick. I'm a cheapo. I go with drugstore, so yeah. So that was all the makeup that I purchased there. And then I just got two clothing items. The first one was $10 and it's just this, literally it's just a v-neck striped black and white t-shirt and I just have realized that I don't have a lot of stuff to wear like during the summer. All of my clothes are like long sleeves and sweaters so and I just love striped black and white for some reason. I don't know I'm just I've always been super drawn to it because you can really accessorize it however you want and then this was not on sale but I couldn't help but buy it. It was only $23 and it's like this um sleep shirt and it says I'd rather be in bed and it's kind of like this cloudy blue color. And yeah, I just felt like this was something I actually really needed because again, for the summer, I don't really have any good like lounging wear. I have like sweatpants and hoodies and you know, like long pajama pants, but I don't have anything really like that that I can just like lounge in that's cool and comfortable. So I decided I would go for it. And I feel like you could also use this probably like as a beach cover up, although it says I'd rather be in bed, so maybe not, that'd be kind of like weird, right? <laughs> so that was my Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul for this year. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure to hit the like button if you did, subscribe if you have not yet, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.